Ross Gardens of Heligan on what is a very cold day. Thanks for watching. So here we are, the Lost Gardens of Heligan. I've been wanting to do this video for some time. It's quite a brilliant attraction. So we are in the south coast of Cornwall. Not a million miles away, but at the same time, actually getting there is quite tricky. Although well signposted. So yeah, not far from St. Austell. So we're visiting out of season, always the best thing to do. Um, it, it's definitely not warm, I'm really cold. Uh, but I I've, I've went here a couple of years ago, so it's been a while, and I forget how vast the site is. Um, we're not a million miles from St. Ossel, so I'm just gonna, can you s Yeah, it's got the sea in the background, which is always nice. Now, let's see what we can see. So feel free to pause it here. As you can see from this, it's a huge, great big estate. So just entering the uh, main sort of gardeny garden bit, there's tons of plant varieties around and waterworks. It's just bringing back some memories uh, and I love this bit. This should be a lot of fun. Uh, and yeah, it should be great for some footage as well. He says as he trips over a rock. So what happens when you're not paying attention to where you're walking? Ooh. Okay, with this video, I'm not the most, you know, the greatest gardener or horticulturalist, so I have no idea what any of these plants are called or look like, uh, but they're just really pretty. So here we are, start off the famous rope bridge. Um, should get some good footage. Uh, please abide by the guidelines. And here they are. So feel free to pause and have a quick read. Most of it's common sense, but we all know where that can go wrong.
I hope this doesn't induce motion sickness for anyone watching, Hello. but the bridge is a little bit wobbly because I'm on it. Mom, mom, uh, so are my family. Doing really well. But it's, yeah, we're doing really well, just going across to the middle. Now on the way down on the decking there are these warning signs. I'll let you decide about them, but the top one is clear, no prams from the 1920s. But I'll, I just want you to take in this top hat one, you know, either he's having a laugh and going down a slide, or he's fallen over. So when editing this and getting it all together, there was something very familiar about all this camouflage and jungle, but I just couldn't see it what it was. But it's a stunning adventure nonetheless. The joy of these places now is that a lot of them also have um, sculptures and artwork, so Heligan's no different, and it's really great to see some really interesting pieces. So on to the hay meadow. This is often missed by many a visitor, but it was really nice to see. So here's one of the things often missed about uh, Heligan, is that there is lots of farm meadows. Uh, in this one in particular, it's a huge amount of sheep. I, I think you have to consider it as more of a Heligan estate rather than just a kind of lost garden. Now, I'm not a bird watcher, but if I were, Heligan would definitely be somewhere to go just due to the high amounts of nature that are around and all the birds that we saw on the day. Obviously, there are these here, but we didn't actually realise that just in the tree that we were standing next to was a lot more birds as well. So, yeah, definitely worth a visit with a pair of binoculars as well. And yet here's more that's unfortunately missed by most people. There's also um, lots of animals there, which is great for the kids. Uh, it's also a farm, and the animals they do have are quite rare breeds, and they all have their own names and, and boards to read with information about them, uh, which is well worth, worth uh, looking around and seeing a very, very active Cornish farm. And yes lots of piggies and other things as well. So here we are inside the, um, I don't know what you call these, plant growing bit. Uh, so they are all lovely bits of vegetables or borders and things. Uh, some of them are closed which is fine. I don't have to go in to appreciate all the work that's going on in them. Greenhouses. This is probably what it's sort of famous for, for like postcards and all of that stuff, but it's truly stunning to be here. So, lovely little greenhouse with some beautiful roses in the cat. 
camera just won't ever do it justice. Cool, huh? Gardens and growing things. I, I'm amazed at how much uh, consumable goods are grown here. Like huge amounts of gardens and huge amounts of cultivating. Very impressive. 